Good evening, Drew. Man, I, I have had I have been forced to look at this box uh, of delicious candy on my floor. <laughs> what's going so what's sad. going on with your candy? Uh, it's it's in a it's it's in a warehouse. Hold on, let, let me pull up exactly what it says here. Uh uh let's track on website. Here we go. Uh your package is in a secure facility pending clearance or resolution oh your soda probably busted open maybe (laughs) all right so let's okay i'm gonna be Mm -hmm. fully transparent and honest with you here paul i did open my box of candy and i'm not gonna tell you what i discovered when i opened it i just wanted to make sure everything was there makes sense makes sense okay yeah um listen i didn't know that it was gonna take this long for them to float these boxes of candy across the atlantic (laughs) Right? Like we ordered this like well over two weeks ago. Yes, yes, yes. Like a label was created, then and eventually it was like it just like I think I think mm-hmm. the I think the king yeah because the queen said I think the king had to deliver it to the American embassy and then they had to ship it. I don't I don't know the process how it works over there for UPS. Oh, ugh, I don't either. Um, but you're in for you're in for some treats uh, okay, when you open okay. it. That's all I'll say. And then we can do we can do your live unboxing unless you want to open it ahead of time. But. Um, I really, I really want to eat some of this. I really want to I eat some. I want, I want my box. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, um, I really hope it shows up soon because we're we Me owe too. we owe people things. Um, so we're gonna bump the candy discussion hopefully till the next episode, but uh, we still have plenty to talk about, and we, we can do. we can we can knock some of this out. So, uh, where do you want to start here? Uh, you know. I- you know what? I want to start. I want to. I'm going to move this around. I want you to start with telling me about Destiny 2's latest expansion. All right. So earlier this week, Destiny 2, uh, Destiny 2's new expansion, Lightfall, officially launched. Now, Lightfall. Listen, Destiny has been in a really, really, really good place for the past. I don't know, six to eight months. Right. There was a, there was an expansion that came out called The Witch Queen. It told a very good story. The zone that you got the pl- the zones, I should say, that you got to play in were very cool. There was a cool raid, a cool strike, some cool dungeons, some cool guns, some cool armor, some new abilities. It was in a really, really good place. And in between uh, the latest expansion in Lightfall, Destiny has what is called a seasonal model. And the, the whole idea behind the seasonal model is this is this is what they call a live service game. And you can buy what is called a season pass. And the season pass lets you basically, as you play the game, you unlock rewards. You can get different guns, new skins, other cosmetic stuff, some non-cosmetic stuff. So it's not quite pay to win because you still have to play the game. And they also release like a seasonal, like episodic story arc. Okay. The missions, the biggest complaint about this is, is the missions can get repetitive pretty quickly because they require you to play kind of the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, every week they release a new piece of the story. So they like gate, like time gate the, the stages of the story. They have been teasing the Lightfall expansion for quite some time. Um, yeah, they have. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is supposed to be the beginning of the end of this, what they call the light and dark saga. We're finally going to get some questions answer, uh, you know, questions answered about like who is the witness and what is the traveler and who's going to win between light and dark and all this other stuff. And you know, I'm just invested enough in the lore of mm-hmm. Destiny that I care. Okay. So obviously, there were a lot of expectations. There were there was a lot of hype up around this release, and the expansion launched, and people were very upset. <laughs> Okay. Um, if you were to look at the Destiny subreddit, it is just mountains of anguish. Really? Um, a lot of it has to do with the story. And I don't know if I don't know if anybody in our audience plays Destiny. You could throw a spoiler warning here if you want. But um the story is very underwhelming. Uh they they do the classic Destiny thing where they introduce a bunch of new stuff and explain none of it. Uh we have no idea why we're fighting for the things that we're fighting. Uh, You know, there's this huge existential threat that is trying to, like, destroy Earth. Uh, But we're not even on Earth. We're on Neptune now with a civilization that's been there the whole time, apparently. And we're we're fighting for a different artifact over there that they never explain. Apparently, every character but us knows what it is, and we don't know what we're doing. It's very— Just shut up and and take one. Shut up and shoot, right? (laughs) Like, whatever. Ramirez do everything. That's a meme. Uh, 
yeah, the story's a little bit convoluted. The gameplay, of course, is amazing. Um, there's a whole new ability, a whole new set of abilities, a whole new area to explore. The missions are good. They also um, they also made it harder. Okay. They have this whole concept of what is called a legendary campaign, and they made the game a little bit harder, which a, a challenge is a little bit welcome because on on normal that you can you can stomp through stuff pretty easily. Um, but there there's a lot of things that I feel are regressions. Um, there's they they really messed up the ability for you to kind of customize what they call your build. They totally messed up the mod system. Well, I don't know if messed up is the right term. They totally changed up the mod system. I can't tell you for sure if it's for the better or not. But um, yeah, it's it's been it's been it's been tough. There's been a lot of scathing reviews of the content. There are certain community members, you know, like on things like YouTube and TikTok and whatnot that go really deep on the history and the lore of Destiny. And you know, I'm all for more Destiny. I, I I'm not as invested in the lore as some of these other nerds. But at the same time, I was really looking for this to progress the story, and it just doesn't this is supposed to be the beginning of the end and it's just it just feels very underwhelming from a from a context and a story perspective now the seasonal stuff that they're doing in addition to this new content and new campaign that they released is very good like i almost feel like i would have rather paid 60 dollars for this seasonal content that i get for (laughs) free versus (laughs) this expansion that i don't i don't really understand what's going on but uh did zach end up picking it up no. Okay. Nope. Nope. Hasn't touched it. Yeah. I mean, the new guns, the new setting, uh, the new characters are very annoying. Like, it's, you know, shit's falling down around you, and it's like, I think they watch too much Silverhawks. Are you familiar with Silverhawks? Yeah. Silverhawks? Silverhawks. Silverhawks. You never heard of this? Remember, I don't remember Silverhawks. Oh, my God, bro. Silverhawks TV series, 1986, dude. Oh, Okay, for some reason, the dude, the sci-fi dude wearing the cowboy uh-huh. hat rings a bell. Yeah, they they, ba- they basically, uh, all the characters are basically these guys. They even talk like them. Like, one, one guy's voice is, like, he- heavily digitized. Um, they somehow incorporated the metaverse. Don't ask me. I don't know. There, there's, a, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know. <laughs> Commander Stargazer, Quicksilver, Bluegrass, Steelheart, and Steel Wheel. Maggie oh. Wheeler. Oh, hello, Maggie Wheeler. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Bluegrass. Like, I can't think of a yeah. weapon bird. Oh. Yeah. I-, I swear to God, like, I. it took me a little while to make the connection, but like, oh, my God, I'm in Silverhawks now. Like, it's not even Destiny anymore. <laughs> and they fly around on, like, Silver Surfer wannabe like hoverboards i don't know but anyway you 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 gotta you gotta put the theme song to silverhawks in here okay have you ever heard that you ever heard the theme song silverhawks no no hold on on. i'm gonna get it for you uh, i'm on youtube hold on silverhawks silverhawks theme song theme song okay i'm gonna listen to my brother was super into this that's okay. wow that is so 80s <laughs> extremely the animation was actually not bad for what it was i gotta say hmm. oh they have they have masks yeah make it more well, they're in space like the you can't breathe yeah. in space well, of course <laughs> duh yeah. what was i thinking apparently you can fly in space <laughs> yep there's bluegrass strumming on his guitar i think it's a bass it has a lot of strings <laughs> It's a it's a space guitar. It's a space so it's guitar. Got all, it's a... Who are the bad guys? I forget the bad guys' names. Oh, he's got tentacles. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I my brother had all these toys, by the way. Really? Yeah, he was super into this. It was a, it was a little after my time. My brother was all about like Thundercats and Silverhawks. I was Mask and Gobots and Transformers. Yeah, yeah, I like Gobots and Transformers as well. Gobots were very underrated. 
What they were. What was cool about yeah. GoBots is you could play with GoBots with like match, match like Matchbox cars. Yeah, you know. They're, yeah, they're about the same size. Yeah, yeah. and like Army yeah. Men, kind of. Well, Army Men were a little big for them, but you could, yeah. but you could like play with all of those things. Sort of like you could like cross the streams a little bit. I mean, Transformers. The only thing that you could really play with Transformers were other Transformers. True. True. Mask. Mask was almost on the same scale, I guess. Like you could maybe have Transformers fight Mask, but let's be honest, like Transformers are going to win. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Anyway, oh. so that's my sort of take on Destiny. I haven't finished the campaign yet. I, I just, I don't have any problems with spoilers. So, like, I was reading people's feedback on it. And, like, that subreddit, like, Destiny players are never happy. They're, d- they're just genuinely depressed people. <laughs> but, but, the, but the subreddit is, like, uh, let me just, I'm just going to drop a link in here for, like, those of you that are, like, Destiny the game. Like, uh, read these headlines and you tell me if these are if these are happy people let's let's go to reddit destiny the game oh flat the they, they keep pushing back the flash flood warning drew oh sorry yeah well, it rained a lot today bud it's still raining here uh it has been raining deep. off and on here it's almost done here i think fortunately no water in my basement um i actually had to go dig a trench last night that's a whole nother story maybe we'll talk about <laughs> that all right fine fuck it so <laughs> God, my life is so weird. So, um, Paul, you've been to my house, and you know that mm-hmm. my house sort of sits on like a slight hillside. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I do. I'm gonna put this under the destiny section. Uh, Drew's trench. Uh, so my house sits on like a hillside. It's not very steep, but it's just steep enough that like when my lawnmower runs out of gas and I gotta push it back to the garage, like it's ju- <laughs> it's just steep enough that it's annoying, right? Got it. So, uh. I obviously living in Muirfield, I'm subject to draconian HOAs. And the general accepted rule is, is that my yard is my responsibility up to the fence at the edge of my property, because at the bottom of my hill, there is a fence. And once you're on the other side of the fence, that is officially association property. I think technically it's city property, but the association is responsible for it because there's a walking path back there. Um, and then there's Glick Road, and then there is a, I don't know what the right word is, is it culvert? Is culvert the right word? Culvert is a word. A tunnel? Okay, it's not a culvert because it's not a tunnel. Uh, drainage ditch? Drainage ditch. A drainage ditch is a depression of land created to change. Yeah, it's more of a drainage ditch. Okay. Uh, because... I live near like one of the intersections that turn off of Glick Road. So there is this depression in the land that water sort of flows through. There is not like an official underground sewer channel or anything. There's just sort of this trench or ditch that sort of runs along uh, the running path or walking path on the other side of my fence. Mm -hmm. And it sort of snakes its way in and out of people's yards. It doesn't go through my yard, but if you go a couple houses down, it sort of like snakes through somebody's yard. Then it comes back out and eventually meets a stream. Anyway, uh, what has happened is that trench has been clogged up with like leaves that people haven't raked and other debris from like the road. So the last couple of times that it has rained, I have noticed that that water back there has risen up a little bit. It hasn't come into my yard. It hasn't overflowed the path, but it's clearly like deep and it doesn't appear to be flowing anywhere. And like, again, this isn't really my responsibility, but I'm like obsessive compulsive and I have like huge anxiety about water and flooding and all this other stuff. Yeah. But, but if the water goes somewhere, it's not, it is going to be your problem. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and, and like I have had drains put in my yard because there was one corner of my yard that would get like soaked. And I had someone come in or then put in a French drain. I've talked about all that before. Go, go listen to that podcast. Well, anyway, the reason that this is a problem for me is that on the if you're looking at my house from like my main street, the right side of my house, my my downspouts drain all like they, there's a huge downspout that runs like the entire length of my yard and actually empties out into that ditch. My neighbors are the same way, by the way. So like half of half of my downspouts of my house actually empty into that ditch. And when it floods, listen, I'm not Archimedes. I'm not going to I don't know how water works <laughs> like like the, the my 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 pipes underwater. I don't think that's good, right? <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, it's no. not good. So like I want to keep that water flowing so water doesn't come up my pipe and you know into my into my house, right? <laughs> or into my other like parts of my house. Cuz like my sump pump ties into that and everything. Uh I'm sure they're not like a media's title. Um I'm sure they're not 
Archimedes? I did it. Okay. <laughs> So uh, I took it upon my when I, when I heard that we were like supposed supposedly supposed to get like three inches of rain last night, I I got home from the gym and I grabbed one of my many lawn care trash cans because I have trash cans specific to to lawn care <laughs> and a shovel and I went back there and I sort of like walked into the trench which was soggy because it's it usually has water in it and I started like digging out all these old decrepit ancient disgusting leaves and throwing them away and picking up sticks and other debris that was sort of in that channel. And as it started to rain today, it didn't rain super hard, but it was raining moderately consistently throughout the day. I, guess what? That water was flowing, boy. Like it was it was rushing down there and, and it, it was somebody else's problem but mine. I mean, my pipe was still underwater, <laughs> but water was flowing away from it. And I think that's better than water being stuck there. I would think so, yeah. And like, I almost feel like, I don't know who I have to complain to about this because I... I shouldn't have to do that. And I feel like they need to put in something a little more better because like in one of my neighbor's yards, like no joke, like the, the, the water takes like a hard right into this person's property and their hillside in the back of their house is steeper than mine. And like this water has like eroded a channel through their yard to where like if a small dog or child were to walk over that edge, like that's more like in a baby Jessica situation, like someone's going to get stuck in that trench and i don't know how you're going to get them out like it is a, it is not a trench at that point it's almost like a cliff in this in these people's yards so i don't know like how you fix that like i almost feel like someone needs to come and like actually dig the equivalent of a culvert which i was today years old when i actually learned what a culvert was but like an actual <laughs> tunnel that runs along glick road that empties it out into the cricks and streams of the of the thing but anyway that's that's drew's trench story Anyway, uh, anywho, Silverhawks. No, I mean, Silver Hawks. Yeah. <laughs> this podcast goes uh, weird places. It does. It does. Yeah. Uh. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm still playing it. I will finish the campaign because, you know, I mean, I like Destiny and I will continue to play it. So, yeah, cool. We'll, yeah. we'll see what happens. I mean, just people are generally unhappy. Like there's here's here's like here's a couple highlights. Uh, uh, Light Falls, mate. Yeah, I thought the. Your Lightfall build sucks and content creator builds are no are no better. Mod PSA, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, it just, whoever put random Kambal in the middle of the path, like, like a, a lot of cheese was moved. Let's just put it that way. A lot of cheese yeah. was moved with this expansion. Yeah, I was scrolling through those headlines, and there's a lot of upset people. There's a yeah. very lot of upset people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like, uh, I'm a, the only thing I'm kind of salty about is, um, you know, I play a Titan, right? Okay. And warlocks and hunters got very cool new abilities. We got not so great abilities. Like our, our abilities were just more of the same of what we already had. We didn't get anything new and exciting. So, but that's more of a, like a hyper specific scenario. I mean, if you're a hunter, it's a good, very good time to be a hunter and almost a very good time to be a warlock. Wow. I just saw, okay. So I just saw the link to the IGN review and process saying if we had to review it now, we'd be a five out of 10. That's yeah. not great. Yeah. That's not yeah. great. Yeah. That's not great. Oh Yeah. And and like Kotaku wrote one up, yeah. I mean, I mean, listen. The like the first bullet point in this thing, I think, sums up my thing. The story slams the brakes on a Nemo Man and from the Witch Queen, and that's just it, right? Like we were, everybody was super hyped because the last seasonal stuff that we did ended. It, it was very very well written and very cool and actually kind of powerful and a little bit painful. Like when when these when these writers are on, they really really know what they were doing. This this one is just not. It's not it. It's not it. So. Anyway, that's enough Destiny talk. Um, but before we move on to the next thing, uh, okay, okay, we have a listener request, and okay. it, and, it, and it is it is video game it is video game related. So okay, uh, one of our listeners wrote in, uh, listener Jenna wrote in to say mm -hmm. that you know she had to listen to me talk about beating Elden Ring, uh, and she mm -hmm. read an article about how Hogwarts Legacy is more popular than Elden Ring, and she wants she wants me to play Elden Ring in review or not Elden Ring. She wants me to play Hogwarts Legacy in review. Are are you a Harry Potter? I'm not. I'm not either. I read the books, right? I haven't even done that. I read. I have read part of the first book and watched part of the first first movie. First of all, the movies suck. B both both of which just like hot take. Harry Potter like, they, movies. They're not suck. for me. I, uh, I mean, the book. I didn't think the book was good either. So I, I mean, you can yell at me. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's fine. I I will be honest. And my interest in the book, my interest in the books fell off after the second book. I really enjoyed the first two books. I did. I I, I think they are an enjoyable read. I have not reread them, but I thought they were an enjoyable read. I got I got swept up in everything. But like, I didn't. 
I mean, I, I, I sort of read the other books just because, you know, that those books were around when I was spending a lot of time on them and I wasn't like as terrified as I am now. So I was able to read on planes. So I would spend time in airports and hotel rooms and I would, I would read them. So, I mean, I don't know. The books were okay. Um, I've seen very favorable reviews of Hogwarts legacy. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, not totally I mean, swept up in too. the world. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I first, first I have to get the game. Yeah. yeah. Man, I don't know. It just seems like, I don't know. It, it seems like not, I don't know. Like, I guess if it wasn't Harry Potter theme, it might be exactly what my thing is. Cause you know, I like single player story driven, you know, action games. Have you seen some of the mods? I have not. So I, I mean, I I don't look at those because I have a PlayStation. So I know. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I, they were all over TikTok. Like the like the day the game came out. Like apparently it's like it's a, a criminally easy to like substitute three D models in this game. <laughs> like, like I mean, I'm sure you read the books far enough to the point where you know they fly around on brooms, right? I I do. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. like you can fly around on Shrek. <laughs> uh, they they they, they replace they replace wands with guns. Ooh, like, neat. Like, a, like a Glock model. <laughs> so it's oh. like somebody casting a spell with a Glock. Like, I don't know. That's funny to me. Um, yeah. So I think, I think the answer to this request is I, I will, uh, maybe once I'm done with destiny and I have a little more free time. I mean, we, we can't, we can't not talk about how like JK Rowling is problematic, but I'm not going to like fault anybody for playing this game because uh, by all accounts, it's a very good game. Yeah, yeah, I, that's what I've heard. Uh, maybe, maybe if it goes on sale, I'll buy it. Because right now it's seventy dollars. Yeah, I'm not buying it that, right now. That seems like a, an investment for me for something where I'm not sure I'm gonna like. Yeah. I just, I, I just, I, I just spent my Hogwarts money on candy, right? Like I can't, I can't be <laughs> dropping eighty dollars every podcast, all right? Like, oh, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm with you. I mean, I didn't pick up Elden Ring till it was on sale, so I, I will. Okay, so here's the deal. Hogwarts Legacy goes on sale. I'll pick it up. I will start playing it and we can talk about it. Or I will talk about it. I, I will do the same thing. And like, I don't remember the books enough or the movies enough that I'm sure there are characters that mean things to people in there that probably won't mean anything to me. And I will be yeah, evil, I'll... right? I want to be Slytherin. I want to be evil. I want to be, I want to be like terrible. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. All right. So yes, uh, listener request. We will get to it uh, when it goes on sale. That is our guarantee to you. So, uh, all right, your turn to talk about stuff. Uh, have you have have you heard or played around with Spotify DJ yet? I have not. Okay, so uh, I think it was like late last week. Uh, Spotify started rolling out a new feature for their premium subscribers. It's mobile only at the moment. Uh, it is a feature called Spotify DJ. All right. Uh, if 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 you if you're on Spotify and you click on home. And you click on like the music I love a slow, tab. Slow, slow, slow down. Okay, I'm opening okay, Spotify. So Spotify. Yeah. Okay, make sure you're on home. Uh, home. And, Got it. And then up, up at the top where it says "Good evening." Under that, there'll be music. Which I would pay them money for that to be my default view. Thank you very much. Wait, under "Good evening." Mm -hmm. At the top, do you have like music, podcasts, and shows, audiobooks? You might have to update. Um, no, I have "Good evening," okay. and I've got mm -hmm. several playlists that I've got okay, episodes okay. for you. I don't think you're, I think you must not be on the latest version. Ugh, okay, okay, hang on. Okay, okay. okay. It, anywho, if when you get to this, there'll be this big blue box and it says DJ. And what they have done is they've kind of modeled it on the like radio DJ experience. And it's a, it's a digital voice, which sounds eerily good. A little, a little bro -y, but, uh, but fine. Uh, it goes by the name X, I believe. Uh, X going to give and, it to you, man. And it's powered by Chat GPT. Oh no! And uh, it goes through like blocks of 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 five, but in between the five, it'll it'll talk to you. It'll like introduce the music or give you a fun fact or uh, just just some mindless banter. And it's 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 not perfect i mean especially for me because like one of the blocks is always like editor rec like editor picks and like there's not even remotely close to shit that i want to listen to <laughs> like just swing and a miss spotify but and also like it's also fun to listen to it like totally butcher band names that i listen to uh 
<laughs> but I, it's it's a very interesting feature. I've been, uh, you know, a, probably giving it probably at least like an hour a day for a bit. And it's not it's not perfect, but I think it's a really interesting use of this new like AI trend that's been going on. Uh, it's it's clever. I like it. I'm 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 frustrated because I don't have this. Okay, so it, it it is just still rolling out, so you may not still have it. Like I didn't have. I spent a lot like... of money on Spotify for me and my wife's subscription. I feel cheated. Yeah, yeah. you you'll get it eventually. You'll get it. Uh. But yeah, it's it's. I don't I. I think it's I think it's a good use of of AI. Like it'll so is it'll it pull some, okay? Yeah. So what do you think they're doing? Do you think they're using like chat? Do you think they're using like Chat GPT to generate text that is then being fed to some sort of like? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's exactly what it is. That's actually pretty uh, clever. Yeah, it, it it is like, and the 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 voice sounds really good. Uh, like it, it's you know. Can I, I mean, can I make it a, a sexy British girl? I, uh, you cannot right now. Damn it! Uh, well, no, I'm not uh, missing much. I, I, I think I would prefer that. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I want her to talk about her skivvies. <laughs> it's yeah, it's really clever. See, yeah. So it uses OpenAI technology. Yeah, it, there, you know, there's a link to the the press release on there. It's, I'm, I mean, again, it's not perfect, right? Like, uh. Like and it kind of like the blocks will be like uh like hold on let me see uh uh why is it not working now Spotify debuts a new DJ right in your pocket my computer's not in my pocket oh, okay that's a good point do I have it on my phone yeah it's it's mo it's mobile only it's oh mobile only. Well, I was looking on my dumb computer guy it's mobile only right now mobile only okay so I have music podcasts and shows audio books where am where do I click yeah. So touch music, touch music. music. Oh, hey, DJ Beta. There you go. DJ yep, Beta. That's my DJ name. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so like, play. it'll give you like hey, stuff that you've Great recently to listened to. You. I'm Xavier. My there friends call me X. And from this moment on, I'm going to be your own personal AI <laughs> DJ on Spotify. Oh, Spotify. Yeah, I'm an AI, but listen, I don't mm -hmm. set timers. I don't switch on your lights. I'm all about music. Your music. Is this circle having a stroke? To. I see <laughs> what is it doing? So I'm going to be here every day playing those it's artists you got in rotation, it's, it's, going it's back into your history for right. songs you used you, to I, love. You, I'm and ready I'm to be embarrassed. I'm always on the lookout for on. new stuff, too, just to push your boundaries a little bit. Push my boundaries a little bit. Every few songs to change up the vibe. I don't think, it, but if you're I don't think this is a function music, of the AI a doing DJ the voice. I think it's just a bad voice. Tap that, and I'll come back early to switch it up. All right, enough talk. I mentioned Posey. Let's get it going with that and some other artists in that zone. Okay. All right. Now, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, what happens? I've got to fast forward to the end of the song. Is, is Bro, yeah, is Bro so, gonna so come after back? after five songs, it seems to be always after five songs. Right now, it'll come back and it will kind of like change, like the, the theme. So, like, it may do like songs from your past or songs you've recently listened to or songs you haven't heard in a while, and it, and then it always do like the editor's picks, and those are bad. At least for me. All right, well, hold on. We're five, we're five seconds away. I just fast-forwarded through the last song here. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, so nothing. Let me fast-forward through yeah. this one. Maybe because I... Yeah. Oh, here it is. It's, it's every... Some yeah, focus baby. closing it out. Next, let's check out what's happening in today's funk scene with a few editor's picks. Okay. Gonna kick it off with oh, something off the picks. brand new album from French Caribbean, Brooklyn-based vocalist and bassist, Addy Oasis. This Addy album has collabed okay. with a pretty eclectic group of artists. Jamila Woods, eclectic Kirby, Aaron Taylor are all on there. Mm -hmm. What is... I can't... I really name. can't place this Nicholas. accent. Uh, yeah, at some points, it almost sounds like really bad, like Italian-American. Uh, yeah. And then also, like gonna, also it sounds like urban at some point but yeah yeah it's 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 okay, yeah, it's weird sucks. but uh, all right yeah yeah We're done. Okay, but then. like it, it's a neat it's an interesting feature i think it's i thought it was a really clever way of, of doing it it's you know i've generally enjoyed my my time with it i mean it's the same songs i probably get from all the generated spotify playlists but it's just you know it's a neat little twist and, and i'm here for it i'm i'm looking forward to see if it sticks around and, and if it gets better so yeah i mean i i think the tech is cool if that's yeah. if that's truly what they're doing and they're like just firing off some query or some open ai service you know somewhere mm -hmm. and it generates like a script in the form of what a dj would say 
Yeah. And then they're feeding it to some voice generator that does cool. Like, because like if that mm-hmm. is a voice that is able to take that content and then digitize like that, I, I mean, credit where credit's due. That's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, apparently it uses a technology by a company called Sonat- Sonatic that Spotify Sonatic. bought in June of 2022. So very cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. I, I had not heard of this. Yeah, no, it, it yeah, it's most it's of my, clever. Like, it, most it's of my, not perfect. Yeah, most of my Spotify but, listening happens on the computer. Yeah, I wish it would come to the desktop because I've I've been having to like you know air airplay it to my speakers, uh, but I yeah, uh, yeah, it's check it out, people. Spotify DJ. Yeah, Spotify as as you DJ. Pay Spotify, as long as you pay Spotify money, I would. That was that was going to be my next thing. Is it only for paying subscribers? It is. Oh, okay. At least at least now, yeah. Yeah, premium subscribers is the only way you can get it. Okay. Uh, and I believe I read somewhere that they're actually like, you know, paying OpenAI, you know, for use of, you know, their their products. So it makes sense that only it's only paying customers right now. Yeah, so. well, that makes yeah. sense. And I'm glad mm-hmm. that they're paying for it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, that's a cool feature. Thanks for that. I'm going to have to yeah. play with that a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's fun. Oh. All right. All right. I, I, what's this next thing here, Drew? All right. So, um, as of today, okay, I have accepted a tentative offer for a new job. <gasps> really? Yep. Uh, my time at Microsoft will be coming to a close. Oh. And I okay. will be moving to the Databricks company. Oh, okay. You took that. Nice. I nice. Did. I did. I officially, I, I accepted the. I, I basically gave a tentative yesterday. Um, okay. you know, I am still waiting on like my formal offer letter and everything, but today was a rough day because I had to like break the news <laughs> to my, to my current boss mm-hmm. and tell him like, Hey, I got this offer and you know, I'm going to take it. And they, he understands, you know, and I, it's really hard to make moves for me. I mean, I, I generally really like the bosses that I've had. I've been very fortunate to have very good bosses and work with really cool people. And like saying goodbye is hard. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I feel a little bit guilty uh, leaving right now because there's some stuff that we're working on that I'll have to transition out and stuff that I I kind of like working on. Um, but this is an offer that I think is going to push me in different directions a little bit and help me, um, you know, grow at least technically a little bit, even though, you know, at 43, I don't know if I should be growing technically as, as much as I should in other areas, but who knows? Uh, the other thing that's kind of appealing about this too is um, I'll get to do some multi-cloud stuff. Um, you know, obviously being tied to Microsoft, it's been Azure all the time. Azure, Azure, Azure. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm hoping that I can, you know, get to experience the product in AWS and other clouds. Um, so that's, that's kind of appealing to me. And then, you know, I mean, there's going to be things that are different. You know, Databricks has more of like a startup type culture. So, you know, much, much smaller company than where I'm at right now and different kind of work. And we'll see how it goes. Um, this has been something that's kind of been in the works for a couple months now. Um, you know, they came at me, I don't know, uh, a year ago and asked if I might be interested at the time. I'm like, you know, I I was, wasn't in a place where I wanted to make a move. I was doing some, I I had a lot of stuff going on at work at that time and stuff that I was kind of excited about. So I'm like, yeah, now's not the time. Uh, but they came at me last year. This has been something that they approached me on, you know, towards the end of last year. Um, and I had to go through like interview loops and do some like coding assignments at night and stuff. And <sighs> yeah, I mean, it, that's, that's the big cool. news. It's big Congratulations. News. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, yeah. yeah, I will be a senior solutions architect for them. I mean, Ooh. I had architected my title, you know, where I'm at now. Um, but this mm-hmm. will be more just like around architecting your, your data engineering and your AI ML stuff on, on Databricks. Uh, kind of wherever you are. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, I, I don't have an official start date yet and I have to like, you know, put in my two weeks and go through all that stuff. Yeah. And mm-hmm. this isn't a competitor. Um, I've heard stories about how, like, you know, if you join certain competitors, like, can you tell your boss that you got an offer? Uh, they, they say, thanks. And uh, here, I'm going to turn off all your access now. Um, <laughs> that's not the case here because Databricks is yeah. like a strategic partner for Microsoft because I mean, obviously they sell their product on their platform. So it's, it's a slightly different relationship. I mean, anytime you're an IT job, like you don't know how it's going to happen. You can put in your two week notice and it can be like, no, 
no, we're good. You're done now. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's just that's just part of the part of the game. No, I will so. say I will say in addition to it being a little bit bittersweet, um, you know, there's a certain prestige for working for Microsoft. I I'm coming yeah. up on like four years there. Um, I'm just shy of my four year anniversary. Um, I am celebrating one year in my current role, like as of this week. So it's extremely weird timing. Um, but when I took this role, I told myself that I would give it a year and I gave it a year. And I, I have a, I have a really interesting role right now that has its ups and its downs. And, you know, I think it's time to make a move. Um, we'll see, may come to regret it, may not, you know, I'm just going to do my best and, and we'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Well, good luck and congratulations. Ooh. Lights just dimmed. Oh, if, if, if I disappear, <laughs> okay. Is it is it, oh. is it thunderstorming? It's really windy down here. Uh, like I'm I'm actually it's so windy. I'm actually surprised you don't hear it on the microphone. I'm in my basement. Um, okay. The only warning I have right now is a flood warning. Oh wait, see more. Do I have other warnings in my area? What's your favorite What's your favorite weather site, by the way? I just use the built-in Apple stuff. It works for me pretty well. I don't know if it's because I'm on a pie hole or not. I find that when I open the like the weather app and I try to look at the radar, it never shows up right. Like the precip hmm. the, the, the precip precipitation map. Pre precip precipitation. Yeah. I'm looking at mine right now. Yeah. So I'm looking at mine right now. I click the play button. I see I see no blobs, but I know that there's blobs in my area. Yeah. 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 And like okay, so now like one of the you know how like the map is in quadrants like. Yeah. Okay. So more blobs are showing up, but they're not showing up very fast. I don't know why. Like, is that a network problem or is it my phone? I don't know. See, I I hit done and went back into it. And now I can't get any blobs to load. Yeah. See, that's why I don't. I I normally don't go to this. Hmm. It says in five minutes, rain in five minutes. It looks like more blobs are creeping through my area. Anyway, I have a flood warning. Yeah, we have a high wind warning. We have a flood warning. I have a high wind warning. Yeah, with gusts up to 60 miles an hour, winds will become north northwest overnight. Does that mean yep. they're blowing out of the northwest? I don't know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, now this is interesting. Where? Franklin, Ohio, Licking, Fayette, Pickaway, Fairfield, Clinton, Ross, and Hawking. I'm technically Delaware. I mean, for all intents and purpose, I'm Franklin, right? Like, I'm like right on the border I, of Franklin and Delaware. I, I am right on the border of Pickaway and Franklin, so okay. I'm, I'm in the same boat. So I usually don't panic unless the warning includes both those counties. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's you funny, know? right? Like our, our tornado siren, because Dublin is technically in three counties, like Delaware, Franklin, and Union. If there's a tornado war a warning in any of those counties, all the sirens here go off. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We had a pretty nasty scare a few days ago with, oh, with really? the weather. Oh, Yeah. We, there was a tornado that hit uh, about like like four and a half, five miles from where we live uh, in Orient, uh, closer to the prison than we are now. Oh, okay. That's a fun, that's a fun st sentence to, to say. But yeah, <laughs> it, I, it, it, it tore up a trailer park. It was really kind of I didn't hear sad, that. So yeah, yeah. Dude, it was it was absolutely freaky because like it was that day that was like really kind of nasty. And uh, I had to take the take one of my dogs to the vet. I'm having dog problems. It's it's a it's a whole big thing. Okay. And like, I really wanted to take her to the vet. So I'm like, okay, well, and the weather's bad, but you know, we're just under a warning now. I'll go and I'll leave the kids and take the dog. And then suddenly, and then, uh, you know, where I live, uh, you can get like text med. Basically, you can sign up with the county, and they'll send you text messages on for stuff like, hey, there's a road close or there's a warning. Well, if it's really bad, they give you a call. Oh, uh, oh, wow. Okay. And, so it's automated, right? But like I, I'm sitting there and, and uh, the phone rings and it's the Pickaway County Sheriff. And they're like, hey, there's a tornado watch uh, or tornado warning, tornado warning, tornado warning. Uh, yeah, warning, warning's the bad one. Yeah, warning's the bad one. And I, and I was like, ooh, like I don't like I'm literally have my shoes on dog on leash ready to walk outdoor when this happens. And I'm like, ooh, I really don't want to leave the kids home by themselves during this particular scenario. So I call up the vet and I'm like, hey, like I have a, I have like an appointment in 10 minutes, but here's the situation. Uh, they're like, yeah, we totally understand. And then the sirens started going off <laughs> and they're like, we'll call you back. I'm like, that's great. I got to go to the basement anyway. Uh, yeah. So we had to hide down in the basement. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess you could see. I guess you could see the funnel cloud from where we lived. Oh damn, dude! But uh, we, I didn't see it because obviously I was in the basement. But wow, yeah, it's, it's scary. It was yeah, it was pretty close. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was mm-hmm. home when all the sirens went off those days. Um, but we didn't. I mean, there was really nothing here. That was cloudy. That was it. We I don't think we even was, got any rain. Yeah. It was bad. It was it was storming. It was a hell of a storm. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, because, I mean, we, we obviously live on, like, the opposite sides of Columbus, mm-hmm. Columbus Metro, but it's so wild that even, like, a distance that, in the grand yeah. scheme of things, is not that great. The weather patterns can be so different. Yeah, it really just depends on, you know, like, if the storm was, you know, 10 miles to the north, you, you know, it could have hit you instead of me. So, yeah. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, the, the reason I bring it up, right, is I'm mm-hmm. curious, like, what your go-to site is if it's not apple mine is weather underground honestly at this point like i really don't like i just use the built-in apple weather like i don't check i don't check weather websites anymore i i, I just don't i don't well i mean I weather.com is is a shit show of, well, it's of, all, of it's bad all, javascript it's, and it's it's all ads it's all now ads. and like not even yeah. good ads yeah. But I do I do weather underground. It's pretty snappy to load. Um I like the like it it's like it's like the nerds weather site cuz you could get like if you're looking for places to download like historical data or like like look over a year over year and stuff like that. Like it makes it really easy to get into it. So I don't know. That's the site that anytime I'm at my computer or even on my phone because, you know, I don't get the blobs on my uh, yeah. on my app. Now before I was a big AccuWeather guy. I yeah, AccuWeather's not bad. Yeah, it, it yeah, it's got a little bit of more more panache to it, and it's not oh, absolutely yeah. riddled with ads. Well, I have an ad blocker running; it could be absolutely riddled with ads. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have mine but, running too. Yeah, God, my dude, my network right now is is, mwah, is it good? It's chef's kiss, it's so good, it's so good. I have all my networks carved up. Like, I got cam, I got all my cameras. Uh, running off my poe switch and like i still i still have to use my dumb lorex recorder until i get new cameras but it's so good like i'm 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 all in and now i discovered that they offer doorbells oh so i could maybe get rid of like my like my real like my doorbell is disgusting um because it like serves you ads <laughs> oh. yeah it's like if you ever open the eufy app it's like uh Hey, uh, for a limited time, you can get this thing. And I'm like, I just want to see who visited me. Like, I don't, I don't want to buy anything for for you. Yeah, I mean, every we still have Vivint. Every once in a while, they'll have a little banner. There's a sale going on, but like, it's it's very infrequent, very infrequent. Anyway, so they make. Um, man, this podcast is all over the place right now. Um, <laughs> oh. uh, let me check, check this out. Like, I, I didn't even realize this was a thing. And I got to, like, take my doorbell plate off to see if I have wires there. Because they these are wired-only options. Okay. Um, camera security doorbell. These are wild. Um, which doorbell is right for you? Here. Uh, I'll just drop a link in the show notes and you can take a look at it. Um, this is wild. I really want to... Like, I would be happy with the doorbell G4. Uh, if you click the Buy Now button on it, you can see a, a better picture. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I see the the G four. I mean, okay. you, you could like I could like I could like put like a little message on it for people like go away. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it's two way intercom and everything, and it just it just wires up your standard doorbell power. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I, hmm. like right now, I, my That's nice too. Yeah, my doorbell is completely wireless right now, which scares me a little bit because like I'm sure there was a doorbell somewhere on my porch at some time. <laughs> So like yeah. I'm sure there are wires somewhere unless they rip them all out. Like I got to really like try to trace those back and find them, because if that's the case, I'm totally going to get one of these. I mean they're sold out like crazy. And then the um the other one, I mean other than it being a different color, um and a hundred dollars more, it has like a it has like two cameras. It has like a camera that like looks down. So you yeah. can, like look at the it's packages. got a it's got a fingerprint reader on it too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that would do for me. I don't. know. You put your finger on it and I guess it would unlock the door. Where do you see if a it's fingerprint a, reader? It says, I'm looking at the comparison. It says oh. fingerprint reader star. It says fingerprint reader star coming soon. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I didn't think it's. So there. is it on, is it not on the product or is it on the product and just not enabled? So it's got a little LED screen. Maybe it does some magic with that. I don't know. Like, welcome. 
I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so cute. yeah, I they're cute. Yeah, I still need to get the Wi-Fi access points. Like I think that's probably the next purchase. Makes sense. Because I want to. Yeah. Because I want to like. Because then, right? Because right now, my my Orbi is just serving up my access point. But if I were to add some access points to this, I could create multiple like wi- Wi-Fi networks. Nerd. And then I could have <coughs> like me. one for my phones and like devices I trust and like all my dumb ladies in the two. And I went through and I like picked the right icons for all my stuff the other day. Felt really good. Felt really good. I'm I'm very happy for you. Thanks, buddy. Um. All right. Last topic for tonight. Uh, mm-hmm. Listener Matt uh, sent this to me. Um, he is attempting to... Oh, actually, I think it's technically his son okay. is looking to raise money for the American Heart Association. So there is like a kid's challenge for this. And I guess... Um, uh, let me pull it up real quick because I can't remember the exact wording around this. But he brought it to my attention and I'm all for... You know, I made a, I made a small donation. Um, so if you have it in your means to do this, um, uh, my kids are raising money for the American heart association. My son is really into this and has been trying to get there, trying to get out there and get donations. Uh, you know, so he hit me up for a donation and I, of course I did that and I wanted to bring it up on the, on the show. Cause we've talked about charitable causes on here before. So, so if you have like five, 10, 15, 20 bucks to donate, um, you're helping a good cause. You're helping another listener. So, you know, get after it cowards. I, I I'm I'm filling out the form right now. Hold on. Look at you. Look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing. I'm typing in my address. Tap 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 tap. tap. Yep. This is good. Uh, this is good. This is good podcasting right here. I'm here for it, man. Four, one, six. I'm here for it. That's my zip code. Okay. Uh. uh yeah. Credit card. Yeah, there you let's go. Do it. Let's let's do it. Okay. Don't, don't give do don't give me your dirty PayPal. Yeah. I'm gonna cover all the transactions because I'm that kind of person. Cool. Yeah, because I, I just yeah, I agree to the policy. Yeah, so Bam. yeah, so while Paul's doing this, um I I'm sure no one goes to the show notes, but if you go to the show notes, um there's a short URL in there uh that will take you to this specific donation page that will tie back to Matt and his kids. So by all means, if you if you have the means and you have the time, do something good with your money. Don't don't spend it on candy that you're never gonna get. Like just like go <laughs> go spend it on stuff like this. <sighs> what a cool. Friday, huh? What a Friday. It's been a week. It has been a week. All right. Well, let's um let's wrap let's, this one because I want to I want to go like cry. Okay. <laughs> I want to I want to I want to go drink some scotch and maybe cry it out. I feel like that's where I'm at right now. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Uh hey, uh are on the internet doing their best.com on Mastodon doing their dot best. Uh yeah, join send us a message. I don't know. Make some toots. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm really starting to. I'm really starting to embrace Mastodon more. Yeah, it's. I. I wish. I wish you could do a quote toot. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Like, what do you do for that? I just grab the link and paste it in there, and it's. It's not as good. It's not as good. I think the developer, like the main developer, finally said, "Okay, we're gonna break down and do it." I guess the reason they didn't want to do it, I guess it's. It's like. A primary way that, like, you know, like, awful people do awful things. Uh, <laughs> but, eh, yeah, I like I like my quote toots, so I want them. But, uh, yeah, Mastodon, it's a, it's a place. It's a place. Doing their dot best. You can sign up. You can join our server. Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. Or not. I don't care. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Do whatever you want. Yep. Or follow us. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a follow. Yeah, give me yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Go down and, there, and, and and Drew, yeah, do it, do it. Yeah. There's also a show account uh, at show at doing their dot best if you just want to know when the podcast comes out. Uh, hey, that's it. Thanks for listening, everybody.